Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Alexi and this is Sototech. In this video, I want to do a quick specs comparison between the Galaxy X20 FE and the Galaxy M51. I actually want to focus and rant about a few issues related with recent updates. As usual, let's begin with the prices to start putting things in context. Okay, let's now talk again about this 120Hz refresh rate feature that has so many people hyped up and dribbling. I'm still not convinced about it and I'm honestly not seeing that difference in terms of increasing smoothness everyone's talking about. My honest opinion, I still think it has been a little bit overrated and it has become more a marketing stunt rather than an actual useful feature at least in some phones. Every time I hear someone saying that once you use it, you don't want to go back to 60 Hz, I just laugh. Really? I have had no problems going back to 60 Hz at all. Also, there is a contradiction since it is a variable refresh rate that can go as low as 5 or 10 Hz. How is it possible that you cannot live without it now? but you might be actually using something below 60 Hz for the most part. And that takes me to my next point. This variable refresh rate is just not right. It should be either between 120 or 60 Hz, no lower than 60 Hz, or people should be allowed to use it at 120, 90 or 60 Hz permanently if we want to. People's minds have been kind of manipulated and basically conditioned to believe and see what's really not there or you shouldn't really care about that much. My advice, don't fall for the hype, don't feel bad or suffer if your phone doesn't come with this feature because it's not a big deal, honestly. Like on my comparison against the Note 10 Lite, I actually think that when you scroll up and down it feels the same or actually faster and smoother on the M51 but it is just me. I truly believe it all comes down to optimization. If the phone is properly optimized, it should feel nice and smooth, and you should enjoy your experience with it regardless of this supposed high refresh rate. Okay, let's talk about OS updates. Both phones are now on Android 11 with One UI 3.1. Now, at the time of recording this part of the video, 
the M51 was still on Android 10 with One UI 2.5. For day-to-day -day usage, they are both fine. Apps open and close with no issues and fast enough with basically no lags. Now, where there is an issue is with RAM management in the case of the S20 FE on One UI 3.1. That wasn't the case before. Check it out. I'll let you watch this speed test and the RAM management and I'll come back after.
Now, after the Android 11 update on the M51, there were also some RAM management issues. So I did a factory reset and it improved big time. So that might be the fix for the S20 FE, right? Nope, it wasn't. I also did a factory reset on the S20 FE and nothing changed. The same RAM management issues continues. There is something that the factory reset couldn't fix on the M51 and it has to do with the camera issues like less dynamic range on the front facing camera and even more with portrait shots. Also, video quality is now sharper but less stable than before unless you use the super steady mode at 1080p, which is a shame. Another even more annoying problem is these stains at the bottom of the viewfinder when using the ultra wide angle lens on the M51, which is terrible and very disappointing. I hope Samsung doesn't take an eternity to fix this. Let me know if you are having any of these issues with any of these two phones. Ok, let's go through the cameras now. You can read the specs on the screen. I just want to highlight a couple of things. The cameras on both phones are not perfect, but they are solid in general given their respective prices, despite the current issues on the M51 I mentioned before that hopefully will be fixed quickly. So if you are still on Android 10 with One UI 2.5 on the M51, I suggest you stay there for now. Now, as for the S20 FE, once again, Despite the updates, the night mode still takes ages to process, which, once again, is not that the results are a lot better than many other phones I have tested recently. Go check my two parts of the full camera comparisons between these two phones. To conclude, which one to buy? Well, if you don't care about the headphone jack, you prefer a slightly smaller phone, you really think that the 120Hz refresh rate is a must, having a stereo sound is important to you as well as wireless charging, reverse wireless charging and IP68 watt and dust resistant, then the S20 FE is the one for you. But if you want a phone with a slightly bigger screen, you care about the headphone jack but you don't care about not having a stereo sound and are not to worry about the water and dust resistant IP certification. You want a phone with a massive battery that can last you even two days, then the M51 is for you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. That really helps to promote the video and the channel even more. And I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get the notifications of future videos. See you in the next one. Hasta la vista.